Hello my dear friends, it's Josie and welcome to today's video. So for the next five days, I wanted to share with you five soul contracts. So I will talk about each contract in a separate video to help you understand yourself and also understand how human beings interact with each other and what you can do to really understand yourself, understand the purpose of the soul contract and how you can use this information to make your own life and relationships better. Now, I received the information about five soul contracts five years ago from my spirit guides. It was just a download. I had clarity. I wrote it down. And over the years and working with a lot of people, I've been really paying attention to the dynamic of soul contracts. And what I know that five soul contracts are universal. They apply to every single individual. Now you can make different other contracts. You can just have other nuances about your relationships with other people. But these five soul contracts are universal. So today I want to speak to you about the first contract, the contract of parents. The souls who make this parent contract with you may not be necessarily the parents who raised you. So if you have your biological parents and they're still with you, they are present with your life whether you have a good relationship with them or not now they have different contracts with you apart from that parent uh, contract so parent contract is just about bringing you into this world see i don't have to raise you i just i just made an agreement to bring you into the world and if you have a relationship with your parents good or bad, this is a sign that you have another type of contract, whether they're your allies or your challenges. So that's a separate contract, which I will talk about tomorrow. So let me share with you my story, for example. Now, many of you may not know, but uh, I actually never knew my real father. My mom had a relationship with somebody and it was very short-lived. And I never saw that person actually it became my biological father. So my mom was a single mom for three years until she married actually my stepdad. So my step, I had no idea that he was my stepdad for 14 years. I had no idea because that man, he was the real father to me. You know, this person, I also have the younger siblings, his children, actually my sister and my brother. So he took care of me more than my sister and my brother, just to maybe overcompensate for the fact that he was not actually my real dad. But he showed up at my school meetings. He was helping me with my homework. He was always there for me, the person I could actually talk to. So my dad did not have a parent contract with me. He did not bring me into the world. At the same time, he chose another contract, the ally contract, a supportive contract. And you have these people in your life who are allies. So even though he was in that role of a parent for me, he did not sign up to bring me into the world. Another person did. Another person had this parent contract with me and that's it. That was the only contract they made with me. And they were gone. My father was the ally agreement for me, which I will explain tomorrow what ally agreements are about. And maybe you can recognize yourself as an ally to somebody else or somebody else an ally to you. Okay, so here you go, my friends. I hope this information helped you. And if you have any questions, if you want to share your stories, put them in the comments below. <laughs> be well, be blessed. I'll see you tomorrow in tomorrow's video. Much love.